Welcome to Star Citizen. And so I was wondering one day simply, how could I perform if I would buy all the cheapest gear and weapons available to me? Now I'm also gonna count how much money I spent on it, but the overall idea is to see how expensive it is and if it is even useful. There are plenty of different sets, pieces, and I know it's gonna be light armor. Now first of all, undersuit. The truth is, we don't need undersuit. We can even just hold backspace die and get the stock undersuit that there is. That is a bit of money that we can save. The cheapest armor pieces are all gonna be light armors. Now these pads, 706, it's not too expensive. The chest piece, another 1500 or so, it's not too bad, quite acceptable, but still quite a bit of money if you have nothing. Arms, also quite cheap, 400. Of course, two mate pens, just in case. And the weapons. We gotta get ourselves a backup and a primary weapon, which unfortunately is a shotgun. So this is what I spent on all the bits and pieces that I bought. That's just over 5,700. Now, how well this will actually perform in combat scenarios is up for debate because we are dealing with a shotgun, which is a close range weapon, while we also are light armor. So fragile, fast and close quarters is pretty much the setup we have. In bunkers, it's probably going to work. Close quarters, shotgun, it can work. Plus there's lots of cover and allies helping me. The good news about this cheap or the cheapest setup that I have, this shotgun is actually not that bad. It is an automated shotgun with a small magazine size, which is a massive downside, but it's fire rate and if you can get close, it can burn down at least two targets with full mag. Or if you want to conserve your ammo, I guess two, three shots should take down one of your targets, depending on the distance, of course. While at range, this weapon is not that useful. Plus, try to use the cover if you can with this weapon, and the light armor actually isn't doing you any favors, so moving properly in cover, just keeping your weapon loaded if there's a bullet or two inside can be quite vital. Now the backup really isn't much, I don't really need it, plus whatever you kill you probably should pick up better armor or even better weapons. Although I do like this shotgun, it has a one major downside for me, which is its magazine capacity. I feel it could use more rounds to make it uh, a bit more useful in the bunkers and other scenarios, because more often than not you can just burn out the magazine. And once you have cleared the bunker, don't forget to pick up something better and be on your way. But if you do want to get yourself a cheaper setup before you head to anywhere, it can work. It is semi-decent, the weapon is actually pretty good. Although the light armor has its downside and well, using shotgun close range and light armor can be a hassle if you don't know how to handle it, conserve your ammo and well, in general, manage with what you got. I guess it was semi-decent, although I don't suggest it and pick up better things if you can. Anyway, thanks for watching.